Well, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. My name is Louie. Today we're going to celebrate four years of Kitchen Table TCG on YouTube. Uh, it has been an uh, incredible ride. We're outside today. I, I wanted to do this a little bit more um, less flashy and less things in the background and more just a, a video celebrating and sharing with you things that I've learned from doing YouTube uh, for four years. It's been, uh, it's been four years. We started this channel in the pandemic and a lot of you guys have been around for four years. Some of you guys have been around for three days. Some of you guys, this might be your first video here, uh, but thank you for watching and for listening and for being a part of this channel, whether you agree with my thoughts on the TCG industry or not, whether you buy product from me at kitchentabletcg.com or not, whether you're in the Discord server or not, uh, whether you just watch videos or you just watch the shorts feed or whatever you do, just thank you uh, for being here and for being around for the last four years. It has been an incredible honor uh, to create content on YouTube. I've always wanted to do this. I've always, all my life, when I've seen you know content creators and YouTube, I always thought, man, could I do this? Could I, could I experience that? And it has been so cool to get to do it um, full time and, and get to do this and pursue this dream. It has been an absolutely wild ride and a lot of fun. And it's thanks to people like you who watch the videos, who comment and share their opinions uh, and who uh, give feedback and allow me to, um, to make content. And it's thanks to the people who support the channel as well. Thank you for those of you. So I thought today I would give you four things for four years, uh, four things that I've learned from doing this YouTube channel. Um, this is not going to be really TCG related. There's a couple TCG things in here, uh, but it's mostly life things. Um, so I thought I'd share it with you. So a little bit different video, but we'll see how it goes. So number one, um, it does not take somebody special to do this, uh, to do YouTube, to make videos like this. It, there is nothing inherently special about me that allows me to do this content or that would prevent you from making content. Um, and I see a lot of other YouTubers who have backgrounds in finance and have lots of money and whatever. And, and I like to be able to tell you, no, that's not how this started. Um, it's not even where it is, right? But you can do this. Anybody can make content. It takes, in my opinion, uh, it takes hard work. Uh, it takes grit. It takes um, the ability to, to sacrifice some other things. Uh, but hard work and grit. Um, and it, it takes not being afraid to make a post, not being afraid to put content out there. When I started, um, I, I used to delete videos and restart. And what I learned from YouTube and from the comment section like you, and what I learned from making content is that it doesn't actually matter what your take is, as long as you present your conversation in a way that allows feedback to come in. In other words, I kind of see this conversation, this YouTube channel as a conversation where I am starting the conversation and I'm taking a plunge and, and reaching out to share my opinion with you, but not that my opinion is absolute and not that my opinion matters more than yours. And, and what YouTube has presented is an opportunity for you and I across the globe and with thousands of other people to have a conversation. Uh, and so the biggest thing for me is, is it doesn't take anybody special. It just takes somebody willing to put their thoughts out there first and then be, you know, able to hear other people's opinions on the back end of that. Um, and the other side of that, it's, it doesn't take somebody special. I, I'm not, it's not lost on me. You might call it luck. Um, I would call it more of a, a my, my faith would, would make it more of a blessing. Um, but how blessed and lucky I am to have this opportunity. And, and so it, it's about posting often and it's also about things falling in your favor. I started this channel in the pandemic and uh, you know, I started because I wanted a, an opportunity to talk about card games and my wife didn't want to listen to me. Uh, and so I got lucky because the pandemic, uh, a lot of viewers also felt the same way. They wanted to hear about card games and they didn't have anybody to talk to. And so that's kind of, it's not lost on me that that this opportunity um, isn't something that I've, I've just stumbled upon. It, it's been something that's been given. And I, I think that's really, really cool. So it doesn't just take somebody special. Get out there. If you think you can do this or if you want to do this, go make YouTube videos. Uh, put down the video game controllers. Uh, give yourself some free time to make videos and go do it. Because uh, you can do it. Uh, I promise. Number two thing that I've learned is that success is never what you want it to be. If you would have told me 
four years ago that this YouTube channel would have almost 45,000 subscribers, I would have laughed at you. I would have told you there's no way. Uh, there's no way this will ever get 1,000 subscribers. There's no way this would happen. Um, but what I've learned is uh, even though it, was, it has been way more successful than I ever could have imagined it would be, success is, is never what I thought it was going to be. Even as the sub count grows and I hit these milestones along the way, it's never enough. I never feel like it's enough. I always, I always say, man, it could be better. Even as my business grows and doing tons and tons of, of revenue and sales and, and having tons of success as a business, it's never enough. I look at it and I say, man, I want more. I, I, I want to grow more. It's not even like I want more money. It's just I want it to keep growing. And the success is never what I thought it was going to be. The true satisfaction of this YouTube channel for me has only ever been when I hear from somebody else or I have an interaction in my business locally or with a friend or with somebody, and I hear, hey, your content mattered to me. And it helped me move in my life. It helped change something. It made a difference in somebody's life or the business made a difference in somebody's life or the opportunity that I set them up with, you know, getting product from Distro like I do with the Blue and Gold Wizards, that kind of thing set them up in a different way and it gave them the tools um, to do something that made a difference in their life. For me, the only time I ever feel satisfied with this channel is when it allows me um, to, to help somebody else in their life. When I hear that feedback of, man, I had a really crappy day and your video was funny and it helped me uh, you know, get through the day or when I, whenever I get that kind of feedback. That's the type of thing that really matters to me. And I've learned that like the rest of the things just don't matter. It, it just doesn't matter when I hit a sub goal. It just doesn't matter when I hit a financial goal. When it allows me to make somebody's life better or my kid's life better, or my family's life better, those are the moments where I'm like, man, this was all worth it. Not the numbers, if that makes sense. Uh, number three, thing that I've learned from doing this YouTube channel, this one is a little bit more TCG related. It's that cycles always end and they always come back. Um, and this is the case for everything. Uh, both the, the TCG, I'll start here, the TCG hype cycle and marketing hype cycle. You know, through the last four years, we had the pandemic that was like all this indie TCG hype and growth and, and free attendees and whatever. And then, you know, from there, you know, it kind of dipped down. We had this kind of like, not a real recession, but it kind of felt like this like terrible market for a while. And then Lord of the Rings, Magic the Gathering, this incredible cycle of excitement for TCGs and this beautiful mess, a little bit of down. And then now we're kind of drifting back into another season of excitement. Um, the, the TCG hype cycle always goes away and it always comes back. And one of the things I've learned with that is like, don't get wrapped up in it. Uh, allow yourself to take profits, allow yourself to, um, to move forward, and also don't allow yourself to think, hey, this is the end. This is not gonna ever get better. This is the new normal. There is no new normal. The only normal is chaos, that's it. The only normal in the TCG cycle is chaos and you can never predict it. You can never, you just gotta grit, grit through it. You gotta sit down, you gotta be balanced in your brain. You gotta understand that it's gonna get better and it's also going to get worse. So you have to do the best thing for your business and in your life. And the same is true with everything, with hard times and drama that, we, that we've seen on this channel, we've seen in life, we've seen, I'm sure you've seen drama in your own life, and those things also come in cycles. And there's times when it feels like it's gonna be the absolute worst thing ever, but at the end of the day, you have to know that everything comes in cycles and it moves and it goes, and it will always come back. Those good days, they'll come back. Those days where you don't feel depressed, they'll come back. Those days when, when you don't feel lost, those days, they'll come back. And, it, and life is full of these cycles of sadness and happiness and joy and loss and sorrow and pain. And there's things that go up and down and that's just the way that life is. Um, and so cycles always end and they always come back. Um, at the end of the day, take your profits and treat people well and um, be able to answer to your own beliefs the best way that you can and make your own decisions for you. And then this is the last thing. The last thing I've, I've learned four years of doing this, four things that I've learned about life and about things in the TCG world um, is to surround yourself with good people. Um, when I first started this, I was a little bit under the impression 
that business needs to be um, self, or uh, that you that you shouldn't partner, that you shouldn't make uh, take risks of working with other people. There's a lot of YouTube that that was talking about that, and I, I've certainly felt that way. I've certainly seen the reason for that over the last couple of years. Um, but at the end of the day, the last four years, I've learned that life is full of interactions. Um, and to surround yourself with people who set the temperature, people are thermostats. I don't know if you ever heard that, uh, but people are thermostats. And surround yourself by the people who set the temperature the way that you want it to be set. And remove yourself from relationships, from interactions, comment sections, or trolls in the Discord servers. Remove yourself from interactions with people who are setting the temperature in the way that you don't want to be. It is your choice to remain in the room. It is your choice um, to, to engage with the drama. It's your choice uh, to be, if somebody is holding you back or setting the temperature in your life that you don't like, it's your choice to get there and change that or to remain in that. And so just as other people are thermostats, you are a thermostat too. You can change the temperature of your life the way that you want it to be. Sometimes it means removing yourself from a situation or removing yourself um, in order to go and get the life that you want and, and set the temperature in the, in the area of your life the way that you want. So man, that's four things. I know that's, uh, I, know that's uh, I guess, deeper than we usually are on the channel. Um, but man, I was just sitting here evaluating for me, like what did I wanted to do? We celebrated last night. We, we opened up a sorcery sample pack. We had a ton of fun. We did a chaos twister with a card. It was a blast. We had a lot of fun. Um, but I really wanted to evaluate this thing in my life that has taken up so much time and energy and resources and my amazing wife who lets me sit here and talk to a camera and my amazing wife who allowed me to start a business. And um, I really wanted to give it the, the old college try of really evaluating what has this channel meant to me and what have I learned and how have I grown in the last four years through here. And I thought that would be a good, good thing to share with you as you are all are also in this journey with me. And I think you've probably learned and grown and um, in your life. And it can just be TCGs or it can be more than that. And I think it needs to be more, a little bit more than that, not too much more than that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think, I guess. Hopefully you have yourself a fantastic day. Thank you again so much for being here, for watching the content, uh, for commenting, for liking, for disliking, for subscribing, for not subscribing, for being in the Discord server. You can join the Discord server at kitchentabletcg.com. Uh, for supporting the business and buying product on the website, kitchentabletcg.com, and just for uh, being with me through all the ups and downs. I hope you have yourself a fantastic day. Be kind to the people around you. Remember to set the temperature, and uh, we'll see you again next video in the next four years.